I want to tell you about the nature of the Spirit. The Spirit resides us in our heart. It's a reflection of God Almighty. In Sanskrit language, this aspect of God which is all-pervading and is the first and the last is called as Sadashiva, is the Father who does not incarnate. We say Yehovah, you can say, or the God who does not incarnate. This great aspect which encompasses everything ultimately and also manifests everything is reflected within our heart as the Spirit. This aspect is just the witness aspect. It witnesses the play of its power, the primordial power, the Holy Ghost to see what is created by her. He is the only enjoyer of the game. He sees the game, the leela, the fun. She organizes everything. It is she who gets divided into three powers. It is she who creates the whole universe. It is she who gives us this evolution. It is she who makes us human beings. And it is she who has to make us the higher human beings. That's the Holy Ghost, the primordial Holy Ghost. And the reflection of that is this Kundalini within us. These two have to meet. They are separated. The Spirit within you and the Holy Ghost within you have to meet. That is the yoga, that's the union. The seat of the Spirit is on top of your head here. But He resides in human beings in the heart. Of course it comes out also and watches you. It is not in our conscious mind. It resides and watches the whole field. In, in Gita He is called as Kshetragya, the one who knows the field, the knower of the field. He knows everything. He watches. He just watches where we go, what we do, what compromises we make, how we run after our seeking, how we go to falsehood, what we do, everything it is watching. The Holy Ghost is the one which receives the information and records everything in itself, but the information is given by the Deity who is the seed or the Spirit of Jesus Christ who is sitting down there, Ganesha. The Spirit itself is Satchit Ananda. He e exists in the state of Truth. Now, we do not know what Truth is. People say, God is Love, God is Truth. Now, what is the Truth? The Truth is this all-pervading power. And this all-pervading power is the nature of the Spirit which gives you the absolute knowledge. Now mark it, absolute knowledge. So the first thing you are, you are the Truth. The Spirit tells you what is the Truth. It tells you everything about everything. It is the Truth. The knowledge that is pure is the Truth. So the Truth is, everything is illusion. 
except for the divine love of God that is all pervading, which you can feel through your spirit. The second thing, the nature of spirit is that he is chitta, he is the attention. He is the attention, means when you become spiritually enlightened, your attention becomes enlightened. Now enlightenment, what we understand of these lights is that the lights are falling here and we can see things, that's all. But this attention which is being enlightened acts, it works, it has got loops, it has got weapons, it works. You have to see for yourself how your attention works. When you get realized, then you start seeing through the window of the Spirit, your, your position changes. As you are looking at Me now, then you come back here and start looking at you this way. Till you are realized, you are sitting before Me. But once you are realized, you come here and see others. From there, that's your foot. Nobody can touch you there. From there you see others. Your attention is detached. So the attention becomes enlightened after Realization. You pay attention to anything, it works. It does work, no doubt. You try. Those who have got Realization should try this. Try your attention. But attention has to be pure. You have to purify your attention. And the best way to purify it is to keep your Agya Chakra open. When this center is open, which is the center of Christ, which I have shown that it can only open through the Lord's prayer, after Realization. When you open that, then you are in that state where your attention is Divine. And you'll be amazed how things work out. Even the smallest things, the material things, the useless things, and the great things and the subtle and subtlest, and how you start growing. So the growth is to be achieved by purifying your attention. And to purify this attention is to keep your Agya Chakra open and be in thoughtless awareness. You watch something, you don't think about it. Zen said the same thing, but I think people didn't understand. See, before Realization it's like telling about colors to a blind man. Zen said the same thing, you watch a thing without thinking about it. They created patterns which didn't mean anything, which you see it without thinking. But that's only possible after Realization. So the thinking process minimizes and you start witnessing the higher state than that of attention is that you jump into nirvikalpa samadhi, into the state of doubtless awareness. Now it is not doubtlessness because you have argued it out or anything, but it is a state where you are doubtless about things. I mean, the way you speak, the way you behave, the way your attention is, you can make it out that I'm doubtlessly there. Now, when I started my work in 1970, somehow I knew all about these fake gurus and fake people, I knew about it. And in my first lecture we had about, must be having about two, three thousand people, it was a very huge hall and I told the names of all these fake people and who they were in previous lives and what they did by names. And everybody was amazed at me. 
they were frightened. There was a Maharaja who was a friend of my husband and all that, and he came and told me that, oh, I'm, I'm really frightened for you. I said, why? He said, these people are horrid. They mean money, they mean their whole earnings out of it. How did you say these things openly? You took their names. They will shoot you. I said, let them shoot. I'll see who shoots me. They said, you see, they will prosecute you. I said, let them prosecute. So many years have passed, nobody has dared to say that I am telling the lies. There is no fear. You love, but you don't love satanic people, you don't love satan. A satan who has spoiled the Kundalini of people, who has spoiled all the chances of their getting realization. As a mother, do you think I should say they are very good people? I am not a political figure and I am not seeking elections. <laughs> Cannot be a compromise. That's what happens to you also. 